Alright guys, so before I start this video, if you want to book an appointment with me directly and talk about your course or uh, admission process or visa process or documentation, anything, first link in the description is the link which you can use to book the appointment and I'll show up directly. So, where are we right now? We are in the Hawkshula Star Zone. And welcome, welcome to, to Star Zone. <laughs> welcome here. The Hawkshula Star Zone, H-O-S-T. Alright guys, so welcome back once again. So if you're someone new to my channel, my name is Niklesh. At the moment I'm here in Berlin, uh, Zutkoit station. From here I'm taking a RE train which will take uh, me roughly about like three, three and a half hours to get to Stralsund, Hauptbahnhof. So train is super late, it's been over 30-35 minutes now. May I be done? Oh my god! Finally, it's here. Let's go. Like really. It's late for good 45 minutes, almost one hour. So finally here I am at Stralsund Hauptbahnhof. It's almost gonna be 12. Alright guys, so uh, this is where you're gonna come out. Uh, I just came back to the uh, station just to begin this video again. Uh, and this is the next day. Um, when you come out, this is what the station from outside looks like. And uh, I'll quickly take you to the bus stop from where you're gonna take the bus and then uh, go straight, straight to the Hochschule, which is the university. Uh, let's yes. start walking towards the bus stop. Bus stop, yeah. Okay. Sure, let's go. Let's go. Which is the bus number we are uh, taking now? We have to take uh, bus number one directly heading towards near Stralsund, uh, Hochschule, and bus four near Nippanor. And if people are visiting here for the first time, right, they won't have a ticket. Uh, what do they do? Uh, they like they can buy directly from the bus driver. Bus driver. So yeah. they should have a cash. Cash, exactly. Or if you have a lot of bags and if you happen to be in the daytime, there is a taxi right here. You just take a taxi. So this is where you're gonna come out from, take a ride, and that's where you'll find bus stop. So yeah, we just came out of the bus stop, uh, the train station, uh, and then crossing the road, and one number, right? You said. Yeah. Okay. Alright guys, so finally I'm gonna start the vlog. This is the next day. I have a bunch of my friends who are studying here masters and they're gonna give us the campus tour also talk about what is the lifestyle here in Stralsund. After arriving last night, I had a lot of talk with my friends so I do have a lot of questions for you guys. But before that, how about we quickly start with the introduction? Why yeah, don't you start? I'm Nikila. I'm graduated from Srividya Niketan Engineering College, Tirupati in Electrical Engineering. My percentage was IT 2%. Later I worked for Info for one and a half year and then I came to Germany in March 2020. What are you studying? I'm mastering here in renewable energy and e-mobility. Currently I'm in my third semester and I'm searching for my internships. Hey, hi. I'm Pratik and I did my bachelor's in mass, uh, mechanical engineering in St. Vincent Paloti and I got 2.1 GPA. So after that I worked in a force motors. So at uh, like nearly approximately one year then I decided to do masters for further studies and then I choose this college, uh, Renewable Energy Mobility, Hochschule Stralsund. Myself Sadiq, uh, I done my uh, bachelor's in electrical engineering and I am here in Stralsund, Renewable Energy and E-Mobility. How much and did you score in your bachelor's? And it's like 8.0 uh, GPA and I got around 2.1 uh, here in German grade. 2.1, okay. Yeah. You're studying what? Sir? Renewable energy and e-mobility. Yeah, same. Renewable, renewable energy. And all renewable. Yes. Okay, got it. So, if somebody wants to come on the campus, uh, what bus they can take from uh, main station? So, actually, there are kind of three buses here: house uh, bus one, bus three, and bus four. So, so one, three, and four will get me to straight on no, the campus. The only uh, the only connection to the Hochschule is bus one only okay. from Bahnhof. And bus 3 and bus 4 will be in Knieper Nord, which is nearby, it's like 400 meters from... So you walk from there? From there and you are just entering. 
All right, so uh, thanks for the introduction. I have another question for you all. If somebody is flying here for the very first time, what flight route would you suggest them to get to Stralsund? People are coming from India. If they want to fly without any layoff, it's from Bangalore to Frankfurt. From there, you'll have a train station. You may have a halt in Hanover or from Berlin. By the time you reach Stralsund, it will be almost in the evening. The bus number four is the one which you have to catch because the regular bus is one, but it will get the last bus is around 8 p.m. So you need to catch the bus number four and you'll get down in the Nipa Nord. From there, it's 400 meters to the Hochschule. Right. You'll have a small walk. Now, one very important point. Um, there is a hostel right here on the campus, which is supposed to be one of the biggest hostels called as Holzhausen. Yes. Right? Yeah. Uh, that's why you will have to get here if you have got accommodation, you get down here and literally like 200 or 100 meters you walk and you get to the Holzhausen accommodation facility. Right? What, what route did you take? I took Andhra to New Delhi and from New Delhi to Berlin directly. Okay. And yeah. I just took the so train and huh. it's like three and a half hour journey. Yeah. And I'm here. That so what building is this? And this is the house for and it's a building of fact, uh, School of Electrical Engineering and Computer Sciences. This is the building, yeah? yeah. Okay. Cool. House number four. Okay. Oh, oh. So from this building, from uh, electrical and informatic building is this one. There's a map right here. House number four is right here. So this is where we are at the moment. Uh, this is where the bus stop is, which is right there. And uh, what we're going to do is we'll start with sequence. So there's house one all the way till, uh, you know, uh, there are different numberings. So we'll first go to the main building right yes how about we go there uh, we will take that uh, the shortest route from the ra uh, right side to toward the back side of this main building okay yep. so back side of how, uh, house four house four yeah back side so of the house. administration building yeah is house number one in house number one okay. this is the first building in the hochschule strolson this is the place where we get our enrollment done and uh, the representative of the student work uh, house is inside this one that is the place where you need to get your uh, contract get signed everything and that is the family center if people are coming with their kids yeah they, they can hold here for some time this is the main building you should be aware of because the very first thing after coming to Hochschule will be everything will be done here just to quickly elaborate on the point of uh, enrollment make sure that you are carrying all your original documents with you on day one uh, show up at this building they will cr cross verify everything and then officially enroll you as a student and give you a certificate Stu yes and that certificate basically uh, will help you in other uh, process also which you're supposed to get it done you said like for once I've registered myself for accommodation online yeah. this is where the representative sits yes. in this building in house number one yeah house number one got it so house number two is right opposite to house number one which is right here library yeah, yeah. Okay, when was the last time you were inside? Uh, <laughs> it's my first day when I entered into Stralsund. Yeah. After a week, I just went into library. And there are like some systems we can use. And the Wi-Fi is not a problem. Everything is ready room here. There are a lot of books and this kind of three stores. One store is in underground. I see. Okay. And two stores. There are a lot of books you can study. Oh, uh, just to give you a bit more clarity. Uh, that's house one. That's house two. And guess what? Right here on the campus, you keep walking after this compound, the dormitory starts, the whole house and what I was talking about. This is a part of library. I mean, we are at the back side now and we showed the gate from there, right there. And uh, cafeteria is right here. Tell me more about cafeteria timings. Uh, it's generally the timing from 12 to 2 p.m. After that, it will be closed. And this is the main entrance to okay. go inside. And there are a lot of places sitting there, big benches, and you can have a meal with your friends. And furthermore, if you don't want to eat here, you can directly have a two minute walk to your uh, houses and you can cook by yourself, whatever you want. And just it takes a short time. Yeah, yeah. the dormitory actually no. starts right here. Uh, so, yeah, tell me what's your cost of living? So, on average, it's like in Stralsund, you're living in Stralsund, on average, it's like 400 euros. Okay. They are, uh, the costs are divided into three parts accommodation insurance and food and other miscellaneous so everything is on average it's like 400 euros how much do you pay for your accommodation because that's the biggest chunk right yeah so they are we already told that there are two types of houses here mm -hmm. so one is single room and mm -hmm. one is shared room mm -hmm. Single room is like 200 euros and the shared room is like 155 euros. I see. So and that's the, the range 
usual range, range we usual get. Range, exactly. Not just here in Holzhausen, but anywhere else also. If I stay outside. No, uh, if you stay outside, it depends on the rental contract. Right, right. The rental contract. So my cost could go potentially 500. 400 to 500 on average for okay. a month. Okay. Yes. What about you? Just uh, 400 to 500, and that will be like enough here for this small town. Is it the same for you? My bit between 450 to 500. Definitely, we have some other girl things. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to the rent, it's like almost same. The maximum the rent we can pay here is like 250, even if it's a private accommodation. Being in Holzhausen, the highest I paid ever is 210 euros. Mm -hmm. For health insurance, it's 110 euros. Mm -hmm. Ap apart from this, we'll have food that is entirely varies from person to person. For me, in one month it can be like 70. In another month it can be even 150. It depends. And rest depends on your lifestyle. If you want a party, you will have that. If no, you can just end up, but it will not cross 600 for sure. For sure. For sure, no it will not cross. Happens. This is a building number four where we started the vlog. This is a backside, and uh, we'll quickly show you the sports area. So, this is the way to go to the ground. Hey, do you guys play cricket here? Even yeah. I play cricket with them. Yeah? Yeah, mostly yeah. When, when there is a sunny and all weather is so much cool, yeah. then we play cricket or some football games and everything is here. And even there is a track for running and jogging here. So this is a sports area right now. Does it get really cold here? Like Not previously, much. it's like whole sea got frozen. Like the sea is right here? Time. Yeah, the sea is right here, okay. just behind that uh, trees. Okay. And uh, like it's around uh, minus 3, minus 4 degrees Celsius last time in last winter. So right now we are in front of uh, house 7. Like what department is here in house 7? It's not exactly the department, it's a laboratory for integrated energy systems. All the labs for the people from REAM and SSD will take place in the house 7. This white building is supposed to be a lab, yeah. what I've been told. So where are we right now? So it's a house 7 and the laboratory of integrated systems. The main uh, purpose of this house is it, there is an institution called IRES and all uh, Mecklenburg for Promen uh, for the whole five states. And this is the head of the IRES. And inside of this laboratory, we just, uh, you know, the course details are inside it. And the laboratory work is going on inside. And we have three kinds of uh, generations here. For an example, it's like uh, the wind turbine. The wind turbine is right yeah, there. Uh, the wind turbine is worked for some uh, some while. And the second one is the photovoltaic. It's on the ground. And the third one is hydrogen generation also. Right so here. for e-mobility. Okay. For e-mobility. For e-mobility. Renewable energy e-mobility. So all the laboratory work is inside. And all the calculations and everything uh, is inside of the this okay. lab. Can you come out and explain where are we? Hello, this is the building for the Mechanical Engineering, School of Mechanical Engineering. People might be aware of the international course offered by this University for Mechanical, it's SSD. And this is the building for which all the faculty of the Mechanical Engineering are occupied in this building. We started a vlog right here. Uh, this is building number four and then we took you all the way first, second, third, fourth and all that. And right behind us is uh, the mechanical. And uh, from further here, where do we go? Uh, we just go straight ahead. That's the main entrance and some other courses offering there. The main building. Management, courses. Management, management courses. courses. So this was the bus stop I showed you when you come from uh, station, right? Yes. yes. And you get down here and to we go back to the station, uh, you use this bus stop. So we're just going to walk for more five minutes from this bus stop. And we will go to that business buildings, building. which are right there. Where are we right now? Uh, we are at house 20. This is a purely mechanical labs. Like yeah. all the mechanical students, they come for here research, project, small project, seminar, whatever they want to learn practically, they came here and just do whatever the stuff right. regarding studies. Right, right, right. Mechanical department, the, just the big building which we showed you in the front. Yeah, exactly. And then right behind that, this is the, this is the lab. lab area. All the lab area. And at the end of this uh, is where the business uh, school is. Business, uh, business program. Business program, yeah. Okay. We are at the house 21. It's a school of business. All the management courses and all the Erasmus courses will be held inside this building. The mechanical building is uh, just on the corner and the business building is right here. The mechanical building, which the one, the clip what I just showed you before. So we have almost reached the uh, main uh, city center. Uh, we're getting off at all of Palm Plus. Olaf Palm Platz. This is where the old town of the city is. And from here, we are going to Altermarkt, which is right here. Yes. What SIM card do you use? Uh, I'll use Premium. 
Is that a network? Yeah, premium SIM. The okay. same network name is. Where did you buy that? Ah, uh, but by, by online. Oh, we no. can okay. just directly register by online. And okay. And I used the O2. O2. O2 is it yeah. contract or without? Uh, yeah, it's a contract with the contract, and even I have second SIM, which is Win SIM. What SIM card do you have? I'm using O2, but O2. I have yeah, I have to mention one thing. The SIM what we bought is like for free of cost. Okay. Though we have a contract for 24 months, it was on student offer where that the amount what is prescribed for one month is going to pay by the O2 itself. It is like we are just enjoying the network for I free see. of cost. Cool. Okay. And uh, which bank account do you have your account? Sparka sir. Sparka sir bank. Okay, cool. Hey guys, what what bank account do you have account here? Uh, I have actually Deutsche Bank account. Deutsche Bank. What about you? My name is uh, Sparka sir. Sparka sir. Sparka sir. All right, so right behind me, this is where you get your city registration done. Very important piece of document which will help you to get yourself into any sort of contract here in this country. Or for that matter, immediate thing what you have to address in the uh, as soon as you arrive here is which is the unblocking of the blocked account. So without that piece of paper, it's going to be very difficult. Who went here for city registration very recently? I have been to this place very So what's recently. the process what document did you carry inside The required documents for city registration is you need to carry your passport and your room contract Okay These two are more than enough okay. And one more thing the, uh, in the city as soon as if you are coming for the first time you'll get a welcome bonus of 150 euros That will be connected collected from this office you need to submit your IBAN number once you are done with your bank accounts and all So from here on we are just heading towards the uh, next big office which is very important for you um, because when you're going to enter this country you're going to enter here with 6 months of visa and to get that visa extended uh, for next one more year or at least the duration of your studies uh, the office is how far from here uh, foreign office It's like 500 meters 500 meters from this uh, office of where you get your city registration done Okay so we have just reached to the main square of the city um uh, see this beautiful looking church right here wow and this is also the city hall so this is like the main go to spot yeah of stralsund exactly. yes the square like, like this is the most happening place here like every person they will gather here and have like all the restaurant and tea shops coffee shops here ah Everything. the christmas market is here yeah, yeah. the christmas this market is, is going to happen here beautiful and this is a spot for ice uh, what we say ice play ice, uh, ice skating play ice skating, this yeah. is a spot and these all are filled with all uh, small small, small, shops small small shops and everything i hope she does that yeah. ooh <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> nice. Okay. One very important point uh, I'm noticing here is since it's a small town, um, the requirement when it comes to speaking German is very high. What about part-time job situations here? Are you guys working right now or no? Yeah, I'm working in McDonald's. So in McDonald's, it's like you definitely know at least a common German which you need to communicate with the Germans. What level? So it's like A2 is the best level. A2 with perfection. not okay. the normal one okay. but a to with perfection because there are like three to four types of uh, working places inside so mm -hmm. if we have to communicate with uh, germans so definitely you need up to a to is the best okay. and oh, with perfection okay. level are you also working yeah i'm also still working in a macd uh, okay. and i just like requirements are same because uh, like this is the small city so there are less number of people they speak english if you handle the b1 language then you can easily communicate and like have the part time job here I see. Yes. Yeah. Do you also do part-time job? Yeah, I work in Stotta Baker. It's a place where uh, they do not care about our language. Apart from that, really, it's very hard to get a job in mainly in a small towns like Stralsund because, like, most of the people here are the native speakers. They do not understand English much, and it becomes very problematic. So, what's your suggestion then? Learn German. Okay. <laughs> Have fun. And, okay. and or else you should be able to travel for long distance exactly. if you do not. no i mean german language properly you right. can find any kind of job here like cleaning and everything but german is must and must yeah. no matter what you no matter what yeah because uh, they okay. always expect you have to speak and communicate in german so this is what the city layout is at the moment we are right here in front of church and rathaus or rathaus church i don't know which one is what <laughs> this is rathaus and this is rathaus okay this is rathaus this is church okay and we are right now here uh and then we're going to go all the way to this place through these narrow alleys narrow. and lanes yeah. 
from here. From this side. We where are we go going now? From this square. Where are we going to go now next? We are going to Noyamat. Okay. And there is an, another Krishna. We can just visit that. Another church is there as well as the... And from there, how far is the foreign office to... Ah, it's like two to three minutes by walk. So you can get your visa also extended yeah. there. Exactly. So we just came uh, behind the rat house now. And uh, we were on the front side, the square which I showed you. And now this is where we are in the uh, city main market. We are just walking in the market. So Woolworth is a very good place, uh, you know, if you want to buy something really cheap and set up your whole house in the initial days it's the best place to go and buy household items yeah. so here we are uh of this is a bank where you can have your account here when you're here uh you had it in deutsche bank yeah i had a deutsche bank you have sparkasse you have yeah, sparkasse yeah, and this is a bank you can uh, come here and open your local account here sparkasse right in front of this beautiful looking church right here all right so finally we have reached here this is where you get your visa extended this is the office uh, so when you're entering germany for the first time you will be given visa only for six months if your master's is for two years and if you're entering visa uh, only with uh, six months then you're left with one and a half years of visa right so this is the office you come and get it extended one huge catch is here uh, so usually in other cities in germany you just have to block the uh, amount uh, for the first year however for Second year as well, you have to block amount. Uh, what I just learned from students here, that's why. Every time you basically come for an extension, you can't just show the money sitting in your account. Yes. Yes. You, the money has to be blocked, blocked. with the Definitely process. They just need a blocked amount confirmation letter. From okay.